So my final race and the last race before you hand you over to the last hunter and Grey Clutterbuck. This is a good old flat race, the bumper. Uh, extended mile and a half, uh, one mile six. So Buffalo, Rona, Finney, Gerard, Joshua, Sullivan, Building Bridges, Leon Van Rensburg's Discovery Banker, David Hooley's in the fast lane, Matt Cooper's Mejia Me Lu Yoon, Leon Van Rensburg's Captain Marble, Alex Cherry's Classic Approach, Gravelos, Darren Thompson and Gravy Baby for Hollywood Hinton, which we all hope wins. But it's over a mile six. And you can do, he usually needs a little bit further. And we're watching a good drone view here. Here at Aintree, as we come to the end of season 15, and the National Hump. Obviously, well done to Josh Sutherland for taking the Hunter. Oh, sorry, the Hunters. <laughs> that would be about right. Um, well done to Josh Sutherland for winning the National Hump. Trainer of the year, of the season. Well done to, obviously, Vinny over on the flat. But here at Aintree, race. 38 at an ultimate race. Start as all the six National Hunt flat races being led by good old Mulheer Metal Yoon. He's got a five length advantage from the rest of the pack. We don't have any fences or anything exciting to, to come really here. So we're we'll just really. Matt Cooper's leading the race as they go through the first three quarters of a mile. So Mulheer Metal Yoon coming back to the pack. Now, as in the fast lane, Discovery Bank of Gravy Baby out wide. One up against the rail is Gravelos. One that probably won't have a lot of running room is Josh Sutherland's Building Bridges. And Captain Marvel and Classic Approach. It's the last race the big boys can win. I don't doubt if any of them are in the Hunters. So, Mejio Melun from Discovery Banker. Josh taking the two Portals Moors finals today. Oh, we're on board Mohea Melune. Oh, uh, Buffalo Rona in second, which is Vinny Gerard, and then Discovery Banker. We're going to go to Gravelos as they take it when here we are. Oh, we've got cut in front in the fast lane now. David Hooley, as you can see them all now building bridges. Now Gravy Baby's got a lot to do, Del. He'd need to get his gravy on. To Marvel and Classical approach, we rode on board everybody there, but it's Mohea Malune that still leads from Buffalo Runner and Discovery Banker and Gravelos and Building Bridges. As I said, we'll have nowhere to go soon enough. Gravy Baby starts to make his move, and Captain Marvel. So, as we come down to the final two, <coughs> I'm so sorry, it's Mohea Malune, Buffalo Runner and Discovery Banker and Gravy Baby up on the outside inside the final third and a half. It's Discovery Banker, Buffalo Runner, Gravy Baby. It's these three. Discovery Discovery Banker's got a length advantage from Gravy Baby and Buffalo Runner inside the final furlong now. And it's still this Discovery Banker holding them all off. Gravy Baby up on the wide outside. Buffalo Runner's got nothing left. Discovery Banker, Gravy Baby, make a lunge for it. Gravy Baby, Gravy Baby, Discovery Banker, Discovery Banker. I think may well just have held off Gravy Baby. But it was terribly close. Let's see if you've got a winner on the last day on the hunt. No, you haven't. Unfortunately, Discovery Bank, well, not unfortunate, well done to Leon Van Rensburg, takes another winner on the day, takes the last race, last flat race of the season with Discovery Banker, Gravy Baby, made a good old run at it for Hollywood Hinton in second, Buffalo Runner for Vinnie Gerard in third, Gravelos of Darren Thompson is fourth in the fast lane.